Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another episode of The Long Dark. So before we get started, I just wanted to say thank you for all the support and uh, subscribing, sharing, liking, and everything. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Um, but anyway, uh, now that that's out of the way, uh, today we are gonna be going to Bleak Inlet. It's the brand new, um, uh, region that they brought out. And, uh, so what we're gonna do is, uh, basically, um, gonna show you how to get there. <laughs> uh, what we wanted to do for, uh, quite a while is, uh, this started all the way back out to Pleasant Valley. Uh, from Pleasant Valley, we went to the Carter Hydro Dam. Carter Hydro Dam, we explored a little bit, um, to get to where we are now, which we were looking for the, uh, mountaineering rope. Now that we found the mountaineering rope, now it's time to get to the new region. Now, we have a long way to get there, so, uh, without further ado, let's, uh, cue the, uh, time lapse, and, uh, I'll see you when we get there. This is the fourth one. <sighs> Come on, get over here. Bastard. Four wolves. I'm sick of it. Sick of it. Because we can't carry it either. <laughs> can't carry it. Can't take it. Can't do anything with it. Wasted four shells. Oh. Five, actually, because the uh, first wolf we shot at it twice. Like, really? Why can't they just leave me alone? <laughs> but, anyway, back to the uh, the graceful time lapse. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Um, you know, it's just, it takes me a long time, uh, especially, you know, 107 pounds. Uh, it takes, it takes you a little bit of time to get to places. And, you know, I don't want to bore everybody to death, so just to uh, make times a little bit faster, you know, uh, the time lapse with the music, uh, I feel like it uh, actually improves it a little bit. You know, as always, you know, uh, whatever you guys think, let me know. Uh, if you guys like it, I can do more of it. If you guys don't, I can stop it. You know, um, I want your input, so let me know down below. And now we can get back to the music. So, we're here finally at the ravine, uh, Raven Falls Railroad, I think is what it's called. Um, and actually, uh, as you probably could tell by a few episodes ago when we were here trying to find it, uh, there's actually a lot of uh, rabbits here. So, I mean, if you did have the snares and you did have the time and the food and, you know, basically everything else you need uh, to survive, um, it would actually be quite a good idea to... Um, stay here and get your rabbits here. Now, of course, 
I mean, I would love to do that and take my own advice, but we just don't have the time. So, we're just going to keep on going. Going to get to our uh, fancy little, you know, rocky edge, and hopefully, hopefully, we are not too heavy to fall off and die. <laughs> This all could end very quickly if uh, we're actually too heavy. So hopefully um, we can just, you know, scale it slowly. Now, I don't know how we're going to get back. Uh, we're probably going to have to find that cave through the portal on Muskeg to get back to where we are. Because there's no way that we're going to be able to get down or get back up um, this, you know, steep drop off. It's probably way too steep to even, uh, you know, think about that. So we're just going to have to keep that in mind, and we're probably going to be there in the beak, break, beak, bleak, bleak, bleak inlet. There we go. One of them works. <laughs> anyway, uh, so we're probably going to be there for a while because, you know, I'm not sure how we get back. So, <laughs> I mean, hopefully you guys, uh, you know, enjoyed the little uh, time lapse of us getting here. Uh, the four wolves, you know, well, they're no longer with us because they messed with the wrong guy and the wrong gun and so on and so forth. But this here is where I believe where we have to go to uh, get down, down the hill and everything else. So let's deploy it. And it's about noon anyway. So probably by the time we get there, we're going to have to find somewhere to go. I mean, that is a long way down. Now, I have what, two encumbered. Well, that's freaking great. Okay, well, eat some of this, which isn't enough for anything. So we're going to have to lose some weight, like I figured. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. <sighs> I don't want to lose any of this, but since we're going to be here, we'll drop that. And we'll drop one of those. Um, oh, yeah, we actually found that book. I know it was in the time lapse, but just in case, this is the new, what, gunsmithing uh, book. So... When you reload your, your own shells, it actually has the potential chance to misfire. So having this uh, increases, the, increases the chance of not um, having a misfire, which is absolutely fantastic. You know, the more you have, the more better off you are. Oh, man. You know what? Let's drop this. We, I wanted to keep them, but we're just not going to be able to. I wanted to take the, uh, the hooks and the line just because of the fact that, I, you know, if need be, we can go fishing. Uh, let's see. We got some painkillers and stuff. That's not very heavy, though. Um, basically, you know, we need everything else. Can we go down now? No, we're too encumbered. So, we got to lose another 10 pounds. Uh, so, basically, here, let's actually, you know, think smart about this. Instead of losing all of our stuff here, well... I mean, it's going to be curing anyway. But since we're since we're here, we'll go back over to this cave right quick. Uh, probably spend the night to get a fresh start anyway. Um, and then as soon as we... Well, someone missed this very badly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we'll go back over to this cave here. We'll spend the night. And as soon as we can, we will definitely come back um, probably in the morning. Uh, I mean, it's getting late anyway, so if we can go in the morning, uh, then I feel like it could be better off for everybody. Now, we did find a few, actually, like, two caves here um, the last time we were here. But, I mean, we're not really cold, so we might just, you know, stay, like, right here, per se. Uh, actually, let's do it. Let's uh, try staying out in the, in the middle of nowhere. I mean, we're a little bit... So let's just, you know, sleep for three hours, see how the weather's going to be doing. If not, we can start a fire. I don't have a lot of firewood, if we even have any. Um, okay, great. So there's a storm. Yay! But so we're just going to, you know, take a very easy. Uh, if, it's, if we start getting cold, then we can actually go find that cave. But I think what we're going to be doing is going to be just fine. We're just going to have to really pay attention to everything else. I mean, everything seems fine. Well, I mean, what's our plus 47? So, I mean, we're doing fine, really. Uh, let's pass about four hours. I like passing time better than sleeping outside, especially because then, like, look, we're getting real cold here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go try to find some. Do we have any? 
wood. Any wood. That would be up here in the flame. Uh, no, we don't. So, well, here. Let's uh, start getting some firewood. And, uh, yeah. I mean, basically, that's all we can do. Get some sticks and, and so on and, and move on from there. If need be. Do we have cloth? Do we have cloth? And if we do have cloth, we need five of them. But then again, we still need six. So, not here. Here's some wood here. Gonna take five minutes for three sticks. It's not the greatest, but man, to get to this new place, man, you need to really need to think ahead. Uh, that's for sure. Um, any sticks? Any? Basically anything? I know. Nope. Nope. I guess not that. But I know some of them can actually um, give you some stuff. So it's really getting cold, and it's only really cold because we're getting wet. So because we're getting wet, you know, that's uh, really bringing us, bringing us down. So basically, you know, right now we're just looking for sticks, looking for pieces of wood anywhere that we can find to, you know, warm everything up. I mean, we still could potentially go to a, uh, don't get too close to that ravine. How is everything over here? 36%. Eh, so it kind of went, I think it went up like a percent or two. Which is fine. Over here, there's that deer. I mean, it's, it's really cold out here, but uh, it should be fine. Hopefully, we don't die. I mean, we still got a long ways to go. It's beginning of nighttime, so that's not very great. But, okay, how long is this? This is 45 minutes. This is going to get really bad, but we need it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, there we go. So let's get back to the house. I mean, there's there's more if we need it. Oh, here. We'll pick up these sticks. And so let's actually get back to our sleeping bag wherever we put it. <laughs> I know it's in, like, one of these, you know, like cave-in kind of deals. The one's blown straight to us, so that's not also, that's not very good either. Ah, here it is. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off, and we're going to, you know, create a fire. So, efficient. Oh, we need tinder. Please tell me that we have tinder. Tinder, tinder, tinder. Yes, we do. Begin crafting. So that's going to be like 10, 15 minutes. So we're going to be losing a little bit of health, but, you know, nothing that we can't handle. Let's put it right there and put some accelerant on that. 80% chance. There's 95, so boom. And seven minutes, so let's just put every single thing we have on there. That's five hours. So we're going to be warmed up. We're going to be, uh, you know, basically doing just fine. So let's actually sleep for three of them because we know it's going to last for five. That's passing time, so that was stupid of me. So that's still, you know, four hours. So let's actually sleep for three. And we are thirsty. We should have checked that. Please wake up, 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 please wake up. Oh, thank God. Thank you. <laughs> With stuff like that, you know, it's just nerve-wracking beyond all belief. Especially when you forget something. And, and it's like, really, I didn't mean to forget something. But, I mean, sometimes you just do. Sometimes you forget. And, you know, no, I don't want that. Uh, let's eat the peanut butter. Peanut butter. It's good stuff. Um, zap energy. So, we probably should have kept some of, uh, some of that stuff. Uh, some of them wolves. But, uh, let's sleep for, no. Oh, okay, so let's pass the time for three more hours. The fire is going to go out, so let's, okay, so we got an hour and 37 minutes. But this, the storm stopped. So, what we're going to do, is we're going to come run back over here. Because we saw this, you know, before. And this is going to be 45 minutes, but it's going to be more wood. So hopefully our fire doesn't go out, but it should last. Okay, so the fire didn't go out, so now we can actually, you know, run and whatnot, and then sleep over it. Good thing the storm didn't last too terribly long. Um, there we go. Put a good solid four hours on it. The water and everything is good, so let's sleep the four hours, even though we're going to wake up before that, because we're not necessarily tired. Hopefully it's daylight. Please be daylight. No, it's not. But uh, it's not terribly too long, so let's 
let's pass the time for two hours. And then as soon as we wake, we can actually sleep one hour. And then the daytime will be up, or like the sun will be up, and the daytime, or the sleep will be full and everything. So let's pick that up. Yeah, it's a little bit windy still. Um, let's actually drink some more. Basically, that's how you stay awake or asleep. Well, <laughs> alive. Let's just say alive. You stay alive when you're outside. <sighs> We're still over encumbered, which isn't very good at all. Um, <laughs> what else can we drop? I don't want to get rid of these because, I mean, you get feathers and everything from them. We definitely need that, for sure. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of this. I mean, that's two pounds that we can't afford at the moment. I mean, we can hopefully find more later in life. Actually, here, before we just leave, I think what we're going to do is we're going to fill up our, our lantern. So that we can say that we have it. And, okay. So refuel the lantern. Then get rid of it. And then we know where it is when we come back back through. So boom. So that's there. We still got 54 minutes. But it's morning time. Let's get the hails out of here. And how much? So we're 82 pounds. So we're still technically over encumbered. But we shouldn't be. Over the amount to crawl down. We may have to leave our uh, pelt, which will be fine. <laughs> I mean, we got a ton more, so I ain't really necessarily worried about it. Now, I do want to keep that and that. Can we crawl with that? No. So, never mind. Drop that. <sighs> blah, 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 blah. The, uh, the fun in trying to deal with this stuff, man. Let me just, just get rid of that. Um, da, 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 da. Actually, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to figure out what we can do to get under e and then I'll be back. Okay, so we're back. And I really don't want to get rid of this stuff, but, I mean, I barely got underneath. So let's hopefully get down here and walk. Holy crap. That's a long ways. And we're going straight down. Now, this is all for you guys. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, we definitely, uh, I definitely wanted to come here too. I mean, something new, something exciting. Now, you could get back up if you were like, no weight whatsoever. But, I mean, hey, we're here now. And uh, now we got to deal with it. Whatever happens next. Now, like I said, we I've never been down here before in all the games that we, I've ever played. So this is actually something that's pretty interesting. You know, it's something... Uh, survive the outdoors. Yeah, keep it. Now we can get over our weight again. <laughs> oh, boy. Now what, honestly, what we could do is we could drop all this stuff, crawl all the way back up, and then come all the way back down. But... I just feel like that's more more work than it is good, basically. Uh, anything down here? Ooh, I've never found one of these, but I think it might actually help with the uh, the timber wolves that we're going to have to deal with. Come on, get the water. Thank you. There we go. So, now that we have the timber wolves that we got to worry about, stupid timber wolves, uh, had to deal with them a little bit in the uh, winter mew. And so far, these, this bleak inlet, well, that was loud. People always, you know, do that, drives me nuts. Anyway, so the bleak inlet so far is the only one that will have timber wolves in them. Uh, you know, like I said, for, for now, because, you know, they, they're saying that they could expand them, which I hope they don't, but they probably will. <laughs> Because <laughs> they like being a pain. But uh, since we're down here at the bottom, and I've never been here. Oh, hey, a cave. 
What does this do? Does this take me anywhere interesting? I should really have my gun out, to be royally honest with you. Oh, is this a bed? Oh, a bed. Sweet. So that's like, oh, here, you know, I feel bad for you. Uh, here's a little bed for you. Oh, look, a giant piece of wood. Man. It really felt bad or something. Oh, and there's a deer that we just passed and I didn't even notice. Huh. Nice little place there. Gonna have to remember that if we're ever here. And I honestly don't know. Leave the ravine. So really, what's down here other than that? <laughs> Is there any reason to go down there before the um, the update? If you guys know, let me know, because that's bleak and lit. Well, there we go. Holy moly. Man, it is really loud. But I think before we get too terribly far in, summit at Raven's in, Ravine's End. So I think before we get too far... Um, this is where we're going to end it, and then you're going to have to just tune in to the next episode to uh, come back and, uh, you know, see what's going on. So thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below, and, uh, you know, tell me how we're doing. And I will see you definitely in the next one, which I'm going to record right now. So stay tuned, and I'll see you then. Take care. Mm -hmm.